Hi, I'm Bob Strange, and we're here with the 2001 Ford Focus. Much of what we're going to cover today will be on your certification exam, so I guess uh, forewarned is forearmed. Now, to better organize our discussion, we have grouped things into three important areas. First of all, we're going to be talking about smart design. Secondly, spirited driving dynamics. And finally, we're going to look at secure environment. Now, let's start on the inside of Focus, where many of the interior comfort and convenience features really do fall under the smart design heading. Now, smart design starts on the interior by designing a vehicle that can be adjusted to fit any size and shape body. You know, just look at how much headroom there is, for example. Focus looks and feels roomy. Now, with all of this headroom, the designers were able to raise the seats, specifically this, what we call the hip pivot point. And what this does is by raising your hip pivot point, you sit in a more upright position. And to me, it's just more comfortable and it gives you more leg room and better overall visibility. Now, adjustability also comes in the form of a standard driver's seat height adjustment. Just turn the crank in the front and you can raise and lower the driver's seat. Again, this allows you to adjust it specifically to any driver, and you really just don't see this in many small cars. Also available is the tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Pull the lever, you can tilt it and telescope it, again, giving even more adjustability for any size or shape driver. Another important part of the Focus interior design is just the, the overall ergonomics the placement of the controls. I spent a lot of time in Focus vehicles and to me every time I'm in here it's just very logical as to where the controls are. They're very easy to use and it's a very important part of this whole adjustability feature of Focus. Now for most people the word small car conjures up images of a back seat that's really not big enough for anything except small children. That's just not the case in Focus. With the high roof line, the designers were able to raise the rear seat. They call this theater seating. The rear seat's higher than the front. And what this does is it gives the rear seat passengers more leg room and better overall visibility. Now, not only does Focus have plenty of room for people, it also has plenty of room for their stuff. Just because most Focus buyers are younger doesn't mean they don't have plenty of things to carry around with them. Now, for ease of access, the hatch can be opened three ways. There's a convenient button on the dash, there's the remotes, and there's also the key. Now, a smart feature of the system is that the button on the dash can be used to open the hatch if the engine's running, but it will not open the hatch if the vehicle is moving. Now, as you can see, Focus is designed to carry two normal-sized suitcases side-by-side side, standing up. And this leaves quite a bit of space on the end for other things that you're carrying around. Now, Focus designers did a number of things to increase both the volume and functionality of the cargo space that just may surprise you and your customers. The long wheelbase, for example, with the wheels pushed out to the corners of the vehicle helped to increase the trunk space. The high roof line obviously helps. And the audio speakers are actually in the doors instead of the deck lid. The trunk hinges don't intrude into the space in the trunk area. And even the rear suspension gets into the game here. The rear suspension is designed for minimal intrusion into the rear trunk space. When you talk about performance and handling, be sure to mention spirited driving. Under this topic, we're going to examine three things, the suspension system, the body structure, and the 2.0 liter double overhead cam ZTEC engine. Now, Focus does a great job of delivering both responsive handling and a comfortable ride. And trust me, this is not an easy thing to do. Generally, what you do to a suspension to improve handling degrades ride and vice versa. Most people know that if you stiffen a suspension, you improve the handling, but the ride tends to get degraded. So what do we do to get both? Well, the situation here is that Ford has designed what's called the control blade rear suspension for Focus. Now this is a true multi-link independent rear suspension. 
And the way it's designed is simply this. It's designed to be stiff laterally for cornering, and it's designed to be relatively soft longitudinally this direction for a ride. Now many people don't realize is that when a tire hits, say, a bump in the road, one of the biggest forces is actually goes longitudinally back this direction, and that force comes up into the passenger compartment. The way the suspension is designed is that there are three lateral links in this direction that support the, the wheel in the back laterally, and they're stiff for handling. The fourth link is a longitudinal link going this direction, and that's called the control blade link. And incorporated in this link is a relatively soft bushing in this direction that allows the wheel to give, to actually move when it hits a bump, back and up a little bit to absorb that bump and improve ride without really affecting the handling any. Now another benefit of the control blade design is what we call passive steering. All rear suspension steer and the rear suspension and focus is designed to steer accordingly when you're braking, cornering, or when you're lifting off the throttle in the middle of a corner to help you, the driver, better control the vehicle. Now there's obviously a lot going on here and certainly the best way to demonstrate the control blade rear suspension is to get your customers out on a test drive. Now, up front, Focus incorporates the well-known McPherson strut front suspension system. But Focus has a somewhat unique design called a zero offset design. Now, what exactly does this mean? It is very important to the customer. First of all, by offset, what we mean is the offset of the axis, the steering axis of the wheel. Now we can use our Tinker Toys here to demonstrate this zero offset geometry. This green rod represents the uh, steering axis, axis of rotation of the steering, and the bottom piece here represents the actual wheel. So when you turn the steering wheel on a zero offset, this is how the wheel moves. And the goal here is to have the axis of rotation go directly through the center of the wheel, so that if you have any braking or accelerating forces, those forces don't physically turn the wheel. Now, on a system that has offset, we use another Tinker Toy. The red rod is the axis of rotation. This is our wheel. And you'll notice that anytime you have braking or accelerating forces, the braking and accelerating forces actually steer the front wheels. So instead of you steering the vehicle, the braking and accelerating steers the vehicle, and, and that's not a great feeling. It doesn't give you a feeling of responsiveness and control in the vehicle. Now one thing every suspension system needs is a stiff, rigid body structure to be attached to. Otherwise, the suspension can't really do its full job properly. Focus is designed with that in mind. It's designed to have a very stiff, very rigid body structure. If that's not the case and the body structure tends to move or bend as you're cornering or going over bumps, that actually steers the vehicle as well and that's something again that takes away from the responsiveness of the feel for the driver. One other point to mention about performance and spirited driving is obviously the engine. The available 2.0 liter double overhead cam ZTEC engine delivers an excellent balance of both performance and economy. Now helping do this is a four valve cylinder head design that allows the engine to breathe more easily, to flow more air through the engine, and this helps the ZTEC engine deliver a full 130 horsepower. When you talk safety and security, be sure to mention the secure environment of focus. Now there's big news for 2001 in this category, and that is the Advanced Track Interactive Vehicle Dynamic System. Now this type of system can be found in much more expensive vehicles. Now the way this system physically works is that it senses the steering angle, the driver's intention, the lateral acceleration as we call it, or just the cornering power that the vehicle is generating, and the yaw rate, the rotation of the vehicle. Now it uses components from both the ABS system and from the traction control system as well. Now, the steering is accomplished by selectively braking individual brakes. Now, how exactly can you steer a vehicle with the brakes? It's actually quite simple. If you want to uh, compensate, let's say, for understeer, where the vehicle front end tends to go off the road, if you brake either inside wheel, if I stop the inside wheel, it tends to make the vehicle turn back into the road, which is where you want it to go. 
to compensate for what we call oversteer, where the rear of the vehicle is starting to get away. We brake either of the outside wheels, and it makes the vehicle rotate this way. Again, bringing it back under control, putting it back on the path that the driver intended. Now, the benefits here are obvious. Advanced track can react much more quickly than the driver can and help keep the car under control in these types of situations. Now, all drivers need to keep in mind that advanced track cannot defy the laws of physics. They need to drive within the conditions that there are around them. Advanced track certainly can help drivers avoid an accident, but if one should occur, Focus is ready with a number of other safety features. Now, take into consideration the fact that the 2000 Focus ZX3 received the government's highest rating, a five-star rating, in the frontal crash test. Helping Focus achieve this rating is a couple of things, safety cell construction and a second generation driver and front passenger airbags. Now, in addition, there are optional front side impact airbags that are designed to protect both the head and the chest area in case of side impact collisions. Two other things to keep in mind for focus as far as safety is concerned. One is that vehicles that come with the side impact airbags will also have rear seat head restraints. And secondly, for the children, there's something called LATCH, L-A-T-C-H. This stands for Lower Anchors and Tethers for Children. And basically what this is, is a child safety seat system that's designed to work with the newest child safety seat designs. Okay, that about covers the main points that we wanted to share with you today. Now, let's do a quick recap. First of all, keep in mind those three main categories that we talked about. The first one was smart design. Now, under smart design, we have the interior volume, the standard driver's seat height adjustment, the optional tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Now, these two things really allow the driver to fit their focus to their body size and them. Uh, we also have the rear theater seating and the large and useful cargo space. Now, spirited driving was our second category. And here we had a look at the suspension system. In the front, there's the zero offset McPherson strut front suspension system. And in the rear, there's the control blade multi-link independent suspension. There's also the stiff body structure, which goes a long way towards allowing the suspension system to do an even better job. Also, there's the available 2.0 liter double overhead cam ZTEC engine. Now, under secure environment, there was the optional advanced track interactive vehicle dynamic system, the safety cell construction with crumple zones, and the available side impact airbags. Now, if you need more detailed information on anything we've covered, or any information for that matter, you can always consult the 2001 Ford product website. You can take a look in the 2001 Ford car source book. You can always look at Frontline Magazine, or you can see the Focus Ford Star course. Now, Focus has really changed the way people think about small cars, and in doing so, it has won dozens of awards. Now, included in these are the 1999 European Car of the Year Award, and in the year 2000, Focus has won the North American Car of the Year Award. It has been included in Car and Driver's 10 Best list, and it was Automobile Magazine's Automobile of the Year for the year 2000. Now, Focus earned these awards by setting high standards for performance, safety, comfort, styling, and value. Now that you have all this information, you can better tailor your Focus product presentation to each individual customer's needs and wants.